Hi, this is Laura Tugger with TroubledHollywood.com. I wasn't planning on doing a video today, but these entertainment headlines are just crying out for it. 911 was called twice this week to Tori Spelling's home, twice within 24 hours even. Nobody knows exactly why, why they were called or what's going on, but we do know that she's in some extreme financial distress. This is despite all the stories we heard several decades ago of uh, how much money her father had from his dynasty, pardon, pardon the pun. So who knows what's going on and if it has anything to do with the money struggles, but money struggles can lead people to doing not so good things. Mike Huckabee resigned from the CNA Foundation declaring that hate wins. And this is after he picked up a lot of flack for his political opinions, especially against being against um, LGBTQ rights. Now, for somebody who is anti-LGBTQ, for him to declare hate wins, what? Uh, he's not understanding something very um, important in that philosophy. Ed Sheeran is said to be looking to build a chapel for his wedding. Really? That's kind of cute, you gotta admit. The Valley Girl remake co-starring Logan Paul has been delayed. Okay, this is upsetting to me. Not so much that they're, that Logan Paul is in the, in the movie because honestly he was probably hired be before all that mess with him in the suicide forest in Japan and all this. This is before he filmed that video, most likely that they filmed this movie. But what disturbs me is that they're trying to mess with the classic. They're messing with Valley Girl. Come on, you know, that's that one with Nicolas Cage where everybody started to fall in love with him as an actor. Um, you can't mess with that, that movie. I'm sorry, you can't. Don't mess with it. Um, not just because it's a, such a classic, 80s classic, but it is an 80s classic, and it's so 80s. Valley Girl, come on. How are you gonna redo that in this day and age? I, that doesn't make sense. I'm not happy that they're messing with that. But it's been delayed, so perhaps they aren't so happy with it either. Dolly Parton has said that the, the cast of the original 9 to 5 would love to do a sequel. Okay, I'm sure that's, that's great, but I'm not quite sure how they, that would work because the principals in the cast are now 80, 78, and 72. Good for them, that's great. Not, I'm not an ageist or anything. But the whole thing was about being a working girl and I, uh, 80, 78, and 72 doesn't quite work, work with that. I'm, so maybe they're doing something else with that storyline, I think they would have to. O.J. Simpson once said, hypothetically, that if he were to have committed the murders of Nicole and Ron Goldman, that hypothetically he would have had an accomplice. Really? Number one, who's his accomplice, Cato? Number two, why are you even talking about that? If you didn't do it, then why would you even be talking, or talking about hypothetically how you would have done it if you did? Why would anybody talk about how they would kill their ex-wife if she was killed and they didn't do it. Why would you even talk about that? It, that's absolutely ins insane, I hate to say it, but it is insane. And I'm sorry, and, and true, he did that before. He did really go away to prison for his uh, other crime in Las Vegas. And I'm guessing after doing that time, he wouldn't be talking so foolishly now. But what are you talking about? What are you doing that for? It makes no sense. 